it's Susie Essman from Curvy Enthusiasm. I hear that you're turning 50. You're really fucking old, Larry! And I hear that all the birthday plans have just been like, there's a kibosh on everything for obvious reasons. You know what? Fuck that shit, Larry. The, my favorite thing in the world is to say, get the fuck out of my house, Larry! So I'm saying it to you, but don't leave the house. You're in quarantine. Have a happy birthday with your wonderful wife, Maria, Ben, and Lexi, who love you, even though you're an old, bald, Jewish fuck. Who isn't at this point? Wash your fucking hands, put on a mask and a hat, maybe a baseball cap or something to cover that bald pate, and enjoy your special day, okay? Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Larry. Larry. It's crazy that we've known each other nearly 50 years. Happy 50th. So, Uncle Larry is turning 50, finally. That is a very big deal. I'm very excited for him. Uh, happy birthday, Uncle Larry. Um, my favorite memory with Uncle Larry is when he took my brother and I to the Vanderbilt Museum on Long Island uh, because I was a nerdy little science kid and I thought that was really cool. And I remember there was a, a big hill there, or it seemed like a big hill at the time because I was a small child, uh, and I thought it was really dangerous, but I wanted to roll down it. And Uncle Larry encouraged us to roll down it, which, you know, a parent wouldn't do, but a cool uncle did it and it was really fun. And yeah, he was always the, uh, the quintessential cool uncle. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm very excited that he's turned 50. Uh, I'm sure that there'll be many more bigger, better celebrations, but hopefully this video will suffice for now. I know that uh, if, you, if we were in person, he'd be making fun of my appearance, but it's quarantine. Got no one to impress right now, Uncle Larry. Ball buster. Um, yeah, no, I just hope you have a great one. Uh, I love you guys. I love you, Uncle Larry. Uh, happy birthday. Hey Larry, this is us hanging out together when we were both young and we had a lot of fun together. And now you are old just like I am, but I wanna wish you a very, very happy birthday. Um, welcome to being a senior citizen. And don't worry, I'll still always be like 20 years older than you. And I'm sorry we can't all celebrate together today or on your birthday, but um, Soon enough, hopefully, we'll all have a great time together to celebrate you. And I just want to say you're an amazing brother, and I feel very lucky to have you, and I wish you only the best of health and happiness always. Love you. This message is for Lara Lara M. Hoffman. Happy birthday. I hope you have a very peaceful day. Um, you know, it'll be good because it's your birthday and I live in the same house as you and I'm amazing. So I'm going to make your day better. And you are also amazing. So high five. Um, happy birthday. I could just say this to you in person, but mom sent me like an email inviting me to do this video. I don't even know, because I don't know. That didn't turn out as I planned. But I hope you have a good birthday. Bye bye. Yeah, Happy fun. birthday, Larry. Happy 50th. It's my favorite little brother. Happy 50th birthday, Larry. And it is from a man with great experience of knowing what it's like to be 50. You have entered an illustrious club, and if you need any advice on how to be 50, you can always ask me. But again, have a great 50th birthday, and um, we can match heads, too. I saw, I saw Alexi's little shaving of your head. That was great. Happy 50th, man. Have a great time. And if you want advice on how to be 90, you could come to me, because if you are 50, then I'm guessing I'm probably 90. But... Anyway, I hope we're going to get to celebrate with you soon. Sorry you have to have a big quarantine birthday, but we'll have to double make up for it when we could all go out in public. Okay, love you. Happy birthday. And remember, 50 is the new 30. <laughs> Happy birthday, Larry. Love you. Happy birthday, Larry. Big 5-0. Very exciting. Hope you have a good day. Um, it's really hard to believe that I've only known you for a couple of those 50 years. Um, some may say that's plenty. Um, 
But anyways, <laughs> um, every time we hang out, I have a good time. I look forward to you making fun of Ethan. Um, always look forward to the new booze that you show us. Um, look forward to seeing Dustin and Lexi and Ben and Maria. <laughs> Um, but you know, you're cool too. Um, hopefully we can see each other in person. You know, it's always entertaining to have you around. And uh, I hope you were impressed by this video because you know, I, I, I do try very hard. <laughs> my favorite memory with my Uncle Larry has got to be when he took Jamie and I to the Islander game in the early stages of our dating. I told him he had to keep it a secret because it was so early on and I didn't want people to know yet. The reason this is my favorite memory it's because a few months later at his Christmas party, my mother went around introducing Jamie to everyone. She was quite surprised to find out that Jamie had met them a few months prior at the Islander game. My Uncle Larry has been a role model for me for many years and is always there anytime I need anything. Here's to 50, you old man. Hey, Larry. Um, so you're turning 50 years old before me. I want to wish you a happy birthday. 50 is a big number. Um, can't say that um, I ever spent any good quality time with you aside from going to Tokyo. You know that story. Always a good one. You always throw me under the bus for the girls' diapers. Um, I hope you, uh, you have another great 50 years. Um, all I could say is You've been an awesome brother-in-law. Couldn't ask for a better brother-in-law. Don't let Pat hear that. Um, you take care of my sister, you take care of my niece and my nephew. You do what you need to do as a dad. And I uh, hope um, you have an awesome birthday. Um, I know it's not gonna be the way you wanted it to turn out, but um, hopefully I'll have as good a birthday as you will, if not better. Anyway, happy birthday, buddy. See you soon. Hi, Larry. My favorite memories are going to the Jets games with you. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Happy birthday, Larry. Happy, happy birthday, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> you break uh, happy, dancing fool. <laughs> happy birthday, Larry. I think uh, every time I here of the facts of life, I can't not think of you, and I really look forward to maybe discovering your stand-up routine on YouTube during our uh, confinement days. Anyway, happy birthday. Happy Hope birthday, Lar. Bye. Bye. Larry. Happy birthday. Um, I remember when you and Maria met, and she said, you're gonna really like him, he's a great guy. And you know what? You are a great guy. I wish you the best today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Evan and Jen, we just wanted to wish you a happy 50th. Went through the archives, found some fun stuff. Uh, some of it's not really relevant to you, but it's still funny. We got our uh, single A Chicken Delight jersey, number seven. I think you were on that team, not sure. <laughs> found pictures of the team, I don't know if you can see. Me and, uh, I think it's Gary Gelch, not sure, but I figured you'd appreciate it. Got uh, the archives, didn't find anything about you, but I did find this. John Frascatoy getting crushed in his MLB debut. I hit a double off him in uh, Little League. And I got the, uh, the diploma from Oceanside High School. Speaking of which, got the uh, yearbook here. Figured you'd enjoy hearing your, your, uh, what you wrote to me. So first of all, on your page, which I had here, and now I lost it. Okay, you wrote. Here's your beautiful picture. For some weird reason you wrote, Evan, what's up? Who is Jen on the front page? Which was not Jen Coleman, weirdly enough. So on the front page, I'll very quickly read what you wrote. Hello, Jen Friedman. Evan, what do I write to the man who has done everything perfect? Before we go back in time, I just want to say it's a good thing you're a social guy. Otherwise, this year wouldn't have become so easy to be the mayor. When we first started in elementary school, I used to rank everyone in order of smartness. You were always number one or two. This is how I know you will be successful in life. I remember all the fights we used to have on the football fields. Do you recall the score 11 to 10? You guessed it, that's when I beat you in hockey one-on-one. -on -one. I think you cheated. 
We had lots of fun over the years. Mrs. Cohen's class in sixth grade, Mr. Jan, 88. You were the best left, left center fielder in all of softball, except for that one game you lost for us. Which vintage Jayhawks jersey right here from that MVP season I had. I'm mad I went under your good buddy Jen. I think you're going to miss this school more than you say. You never did get that acceptance letter from Harvard, did you? Have a great time in Michigan. Be social. Never forget the fifth period bench boys. See you around, your friend Larry. And you drew a nice little picture of a bench with Doug, Larry, Evan, and Junior Jack. See you right there. And in closing, I want you to notice my outfit. I didn't wear this because of the COVID quarantine, because this reminds me of your um, Halloween costume. I didn't have the little pepper packets, but you were uh, Dr. Pepper, so I thought you'd appreciate that. And now, Jen will wish you a happy 50th. wanted to wish you a happy 50th. Um, I got a couple of things here also. have my pom-poms from when I used to cheer for you in basketball, which was always a fun time. have the Cardozo Law Forum from Law School, Monday, September 14th, 1992. And I have it tabbed to our special page. We were featured is this another Molson beer commercial, which is so funny. Um, have my yearbook also. He wrote the nicest thing to me. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's really long, but you thanked me for cheering for you. You talked about Miss Burgoffin, Antoinette, Bassin, Kaplan, um, Lisa's party, which you always talk about. And have a great time in Binghamton. It's very cute, very nice. You talk about public speaking, which I remember that class. Oh, I didn't do this picture. I also have this picture. I'm not sure what that's from, but it makes me laugh, makes me smile. And we go way back. I remember when you used to always pick me up to take me to school since I didn't have my license, and it was always so nice. Um, and. If you notice, we're playing this song, Dust in the Wind, because I always think about public speaking when we had to say a poem, and you did this poem. <laughs> turn it around. No, turn it around. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll just stop. Oh. <laughs> so we just wanted to say happy well, birthday, happy 50th birthday, and remember, dust. all we are is dust, dust in, in the, the wind. wind. Happy 50th. All we are is dust in the wind. We that was you. terrible. Happy birthday. Why did you say that was terrible? What? what? What's wrong with you? That was terrible to happy. <laughs> As Larry's mother, I have many favorite memories. The memory I'm recalling today is related to baseball. Even though we are Yankee fans, I am choosing a memory of the Chicken Delight Little League team. The first photo of the team shows several of the friends that are here today. Once you are Larry's friend, you are friends for life. Hey Larry, brother-in-law Rob here calling in to say have a very happy birthday to you. I hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy your birthday. Hopefully soon uh, we'll be able to get some celebrating in when everything is kind of back to normal. Hey Larry, it's your buddy Ryan. Just want to wish you a very, very happy 50th birthday. Wish we were able to celebrate together, but for now a video will have to suffice. Um, I promise I will make up some drinks to you as soon as we're able to get together in person. We'll celebrate hopefully sometime this summer. But uh, for now, very, very happy birthday. Lots of love from Michelle and myself. You might notice I'm growing the Islander playoff beard. Hockey season will be back on soon. We'll be celebrating another cup as well. Boo to all the Ranger fans. Lots of love, Larry. Happy birthday. Hi, Larry. It's your birthday. Me and Dustin wanted to say happy birthday. Happy 50th. We want you to know how much we love you, how special you are, um, how much we appreciate the fact that you are in our lives and that these 20 years with you, crazy, um, have 
gone by so fast. I can't even believe the life that we've made together. And you deserve so much credit, obviously, for that. Um, you're a great husband. You're an amazing father. And the kids are so lucky to have you. I'm so lucky to have you. Um, we appreciate your humor your wisdom, how you can make us all feel calm when we need to. And we just want you to have the best birthday. Even though the year of Larry has been on pause in the big queue of 2020, and it's not the 2020 you imagined it to be, but we will try and make the best of it anyway and bang some drums and get you a nice drink, great dinner, smash some cake and have a dance party, even if it's just the four of us. Maybe that's how you prefer it right now. Um, but I promise you that as soon as things get a little bit uh, more normal, we're gonna celebrate who you are with all of your friends and family and have a great time. I love you so much. Thank you for being my rock and the love of my life. Happy birthday. Say bye. Happy birthday. Oh, Happy 50th, buddy. I hope you have a really great birthday and I'm hoping that when all this is over, we all get to celebrate our half a century birthday. Have a good one. A birthday tribute for Larry Hoffman, 50 years old. Wow, what a, what a milestone. Congratulations for getting there. Maria, thanks so much for asking me to contribute to the video. I'm honored and happy to do it. My message for Larry is really more a message of thanks. Uh, I grew up as a younger brother of three two older brothers and myself with nowhere else to turn. Uh, I needed a little brother. And Larry, right next door on Oceanside Road East, you served as my little brother, the little brother I never had. I'm not afraid to say I took complete advantage of the situation, and I thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. I feel like that got me through my younger years. I'm really happy and honored to, stay that, to say that we're still so close. Uh, I wanna wish you a happy birthday. Can't wait to be able to get together in person maybe an Islander game, maybe one of Ben's hockey games, or just to spend some time. Happy birthday, I love you, enjoy, and hope to see you soon. Hello, 50, I can't even believe it. We're half a century. I remember walking to elementary school with you and being driven to high school by your mother. And now here we are at 50 years old. I hope you have an amazing birthday, well, as amazing as it can be under the circumstances, and hopefully we'll all get to celebrate together sooner rather than later. Happy birthday. Chocolate milk drinking, pizza bagel eating, extremely overprotective pain in the ass that I went to college with. I can't believe you're actually 50 years old, you old fart. But we love you and we wish you the happiest of birthdays and when this is all over, we can't wait to all celebrate together. We love you, Larry. Everybody? No. We love you, Larry. Who's got a birthday today? Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Larry, from your favorite Australian. Um, wishing you all the very best. So, sorry it's going to be a crappy 50th for this year, but hopefully you get to um, celebrate in style next year and celebrate 51st. the 51st. Um, and we just wanted to, for you to meet Larry Larry. Hi. <laughs> yeah, Hi. that's Larry Larry. As you wished. Happy birthday again, Larry. This is my third time wishing you a happy 50th because we've done this video, I don't know how many times. Anyway, happy 50th birthday. You're the best. Happy 50th birthday, Uncle Larry. I hope you have a good um, birthday this year even though we're all stuck at home because of this coronavirus thing that nobody knows anything about. <laughs> Just mm. kidding, everybody knows everything about. <laughs> I hope um, you get to have a better birthday next year and we can
could all be together. together. So we could celebrate together. Yep. We love you, man. Love you. love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ah, uh, Larry's 50th. Happy birthday, Larry. Happy birthday, Larry. We're coming to you today from sunny Florida, uh, the place where they can't do elections, the place where the guy ate the other guy's face from bath salts. Ironically, Florida is also the flattest state in the United States. Um, what can we say about Larry? Larry, we love you. And we have so many fond memories. You were there when, our, when Lane was born. Uh, you and I have been to Amsterdam together, to Puerto Rico, to Las Vegas, bachelor parties, weddings, so many great memories. Um, you almost shot an Uber driver in your house. Shari Newfeld, Sweet 16. I mean, we have 35 years of memories. So we love you very much. <laughs> I love you too, Larry. <laughs> I'm glad to be in the Oceanside crew. Um, but in all seriousness, when I think about like the best times of my life and the most difficult times of my life, you've always been there. And we love you. I love you. Jewel loves you. So to celebrate the 20th anniversary of your 30th birthday to Larry. Happy yes, birthday, Larry. We're drinking at noon. What's up, Pop? I wanted to wish you an awesome, happy 50th birthday. Can't wait till this quarantine is lifted so we can party and enjoy your 50th down in the Bahamas. So enjoy your day, your year, and uh, talk to you soon. Be well. Bye. Hey, Larry. Hey, Larry. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, my pal. Our favorite memory of you is when this young guy, show the picture. Remember that guy? Remember that guy? <laughs> told us on no uncertain terms that he was only going to marry a Jewish woman, probably from Long Island. So glad you married Maria. 1994, that photo, pal. It's hard to believe we've known you so long. Many, many more happy years. Happy birthday again. All the best, pal. Take care. Uh, hello, Dad. You are 50 today. Congratulations. You are officially an old man because you got your AARP card. Good job. Um, he's, he's done a, a good job at being a parent so far, I would say. You know, you've done a lot for me, Mom and Waxy, and the dog, of course. And, you know, you've done a lot for all the teams I've been on. You know, everyone at Hills and the Sharks really appreciates you and everything you've done for them. You know, especially the people at Hills like Palm and Ken. You really help to uh, boost our organization and uh, make it better. Um, you know, and, and you've been you've been doing a good job of teaching me really what to do in business and how to do it, uh, stocks and financing, and I I really appreciate that because you're you're helping me with my future. So hopefully my kids could have a good life too. Um, and I appreciate that. So have fun. Congratulations on being old. Love you. Happy birthday, Larry. We're looking forward to getting together soon to celebrate your 50th. We'll get together again. We look forward to it. We'll eat some more of those moonshine cherries and, and have a great time. Yeah, you old bastard. Can't wait to see you. You look like Gollum. Ah. Hey Larry, it's Todd and Selena again. Video number two on the Larry Hoffman birthday tour. The year of Larry. I'm sure you're really surprised about this one. Happy 50th, Larry. Larry, I guess I'm probably one of the wives that's known you the longest. Back from the days where you were the mayor at Brother Jimmy's to the Hamptons and Super Bowl parties. And uh, now you've kind of become just family. So I really wish you the happiest birthday, Big 50. I'm glad I'm not there yet. And enjoy your celebration. Love you, mean it. Happy birthday. Larry threw a great party in Baja Mar. It was excellent, well done. Really good times had by all. Looking forward to celebrating your 50th. Sooner or later we'll get out of the queue, we'll have a good time. Wishing you all the best. And everyone from Oceanside that you love, send you a uh, text, a Facebook message, a video. All your Albany folks, all the city folks, that one guy from Cardoza that you still know. 
And uh, we miss you in the office. Happy 50th, Last Pass. Happy 50th, Mr. Hoffman. Love you. Love you. Mean it. Happy birthday, Larry. Larry, on this your 50th birthday, the memory that comes to Hal's mind was about your favorite sport, football. The New York Titans had joined the AFL and became the New York Jets. Thanks to your dad, we secured six seasons tickets for Shea Stadium. How excited your dad was to be able to take his son to a professional football game. So there you were. How, Neil, you and your dad on a Sunday in October, going to see the Jets play the Oakland Raiders. Unfortunately, Saturday, the day before, rain had drenched the walkways leading to Shea with huge puddles of water. You and your compatriot, Neil, managed to run ahead of Dad and Al and proceed to jump in each and every puddle, large or small, result resulting in two totally drenched young boys. There was no way your father was leaving Shea Stadium to take you home. And Hal said, I don't know, if we don't get them home and change their clothes, they're gonna get sick and our wives are gonna kill us. And your father said, you know what? The boys, let them have a good time. I'm not leaving. And it was then that Hal named you two boys assholes. It was some time later after, after that behavior matured and you both graduated from assholes to schmucks. I remember both Larry and Neil were excited at this pro promotion. I don't know if you remember it. I remember it. I How certainly it remember it. And we both want, are happy to be here to be remembering it. And we want to wish you a very, very happy- Happy birthday, buddy. 50th, 50th birthday, birthday with many, many more wonderful birthdays to come. And it's so happy and nice that we've been able to share this time with you. Love you, kid. Love you. Hey, buddy, happy birthday. Happy Just birthday. I'm sorry it's not in Vegas. Quarantine Central, COVID-19. We love you anyway, buddy. Happy, happy, happy birthday. We have a lot of great memories with Larry. I think uh, one of our really fond memories of Larry is the time that we went to the beach. When we started with Robert Moses and we walked all the way over to Fire Island. Great memory, but that's not our favorite, is it? No, I think the favorite one is when uh, Larry uh, had lost his tooth at the, and we were in the view and we sent over a tooth on the plate. It's Larry tooth is what he lost. And we're glad that Larry has all of his teeth back. Larry, we saved the tooth that you lost and in your honor for your birthday, I will be putting your tooth in my mouth. Happy birthday, Larry. Happy birthday. Larry, this might not be the first time we saw spit. birthday, my man. You know what, uh, I think it started like 34 years ago on a basketball court. Almost like this, at the park. You know, it had the same color pavement. Uh, I was a kid from Merle, playing basketball, and uh, you and a bunch of the Borman guys that soon became very good friends of mine later in life were playing ball and asked me to play, and maybe thought I was a good player. I mean, I know I was a good player. Better than most of those guys. Maybe Doug. He was better. But uh, everyone else, I think I had just about covered or could hold my own. And from there, in high school, you always, you know, very inclusive, almost like recruiting me into the group of guys. And that was something that kind of changed my life. I had a new crop of friends, and uh, it went on and on. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 34 years later, we're still all very good friends. But Larry, you know, you and I particularly, hung out a lot because the other group of guys, you know, we were close with them, 
but they went to the Grateful Dead and all sorts of other things that we were into. We were into girls and playing basketball. We were actually obsessed with basketball and making that damn varsity. I mean, God. I mean, thank God we both made it. Junior year was really fun, except you got hurt, and I think you would have had a good year like I did. Uh, and then senior year, running around and, and going to practice, I think was, was so fun for us. It really wasn't fun when you came to my house for the first time. I think it was before basketball practice. We were so excited about to shoot hoops in front of my house. And you're talking about $3,000 worth of plumbing damage. My parents said, forget that guy. He's way too big. Don't bring him around. But I brought you around. And, uh, you know, it worked out pretty well. I mean, the stories are endless. I, I can't do it in a, in a five minute video. I mean, I mean, how do we end up going to basketball camp with Don Geis? I mean, that's, that's crazy. Uh, you know, you convinced me into doing a lot of things I probably wouldn't have done. I tried to be a really good kid growing up, and, you know, but, you know, getting a, a beer ticket in the parking lot, I never would have done that, it wasn't for you. Uh, you know, lying to my parents to see some girls in Belmore, which was probably better for you than better for me, but uh, that actually, actually worked out to be a pretty good time. Minus the lying, but I think we got past it. Um, and just later in life, we just took it into like Murray Hill, uh, living in the same building. Um, I think even some basketball friends from a different life even made, you made a great relationship with one of your first uh, bosses, Barry, that helped propel your career. And Miss Fine helped propel your apartment life. And uh, you've done countless other things for me over the years and vice versa. I think we've been really good friends, we've been good to each other, we've good times and bad, and uh, still to this day, I mean, you're just a really good friend, not just to me, but to everybody in the crew. Uh, I love you, buddy. You're 50 years old. Uh, I wish you another 50 of health, uh, and wealth, and happiness to you and your whole family. And uh, have a great day. Next year, Bahamas, buddy. See here. Videoing you a very happy birthday. 5050. I can't believe it. I'm not 50, and either is Maria, but you are. You should be proud. You are super handsome. I love your bald head. I love your gray hairs. I love you. I was thinking of what memory I could share, and quite honestly, there are many, uh, but one in particular stands out, and that would be, of course, the night I got engaged and how he took me to see you um, be in a comedy show, and we were in the city, and I watched you get up on stage and pretend that you're a comedian. And you were, you were funny, sort of, just kidding. You were super dope, Larry, don't be insulted. You were hilarious. It was a great night, it was a lot of fun. And I thought you were like amazing that you would get up there and rock it the way you did. And then the memory just gets better because after that, we, that night, went to Candela's to celebrate Howie and I's engagement. And that is where, um, met your wife and 20 years later we are a family and we get to raise our kids together and take family vacations together which is always a treat and so much fun because nobody on this planet can relax like Larry Hoffman so when you take a vacation with Larry Hoffman it's relaxing and I appreciate it because I like to relax. And I love that about you. Happy birthday, Lar. To many, 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 many 50 more amazing years together. Love you. Hi, Larry. It's the Weisses, Kevin and Jen. Hi, Lar. And we just want to say happy birthday. Um, when I think of Larry, obviously I think of those great years we coached a Little League together. 
Um, we obviously had the championship years, but besides that, there was also the time you kicked JT off the field or when you broke up a fist fight with Adam Mall. Um, and who could forget the time that you kicked Jen's dad out of the dugout? And Aww. then a few weeks later, you uh, asked my mother to leave. That was great. Um, so again, we want to wish you a happy birthday. And even though 2020 is probably the worst year of our lives and maybe human history, um, it, to me, it will always be the year of Larry. Always be the year of Larry. Larry, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. We're so sorry we can't be there in person to celebrate with you, but hopefully on Wednesday. Um, we're wishing you a great year and only better years to come after this year. Happy birthday. Larry, I feel very honored to join a few people from this wonderful and mild rally. Do you tribute on your 50th birthday? I went out of my way to get dressed up for this, as well as go back and find some of the key people who also wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I've got in touch with Rocky Gordon. He says, not only does he wish you a happy birthday, but he thought you were an excellent tipper. Mrs. Piccinini, she also wishes you a happy 50th birthday, though she's probably not alive, but she did think you were one of the best of the boys next door. Mike Rush, he wishes he had you in the travel industry today, and Mr. DeGeorge doesn't doesn't think of a day where he's sorry for throwing you out of his math class. Um, the proprietor of our de of our bakery in our building on 27th Street didn't never understood why you never stopped by once to buy one thing, but he does wish you a happy birthday as well. And our intendant, who we refused to call superintendent because he was just the intendant, also wishes you a happy birthday. Larry, we have spent many times together. Uh, your tuna melts are missed in my household taking an elevator to a Stairmaster and our fireside chats. But what I miss most is you being mean to every ex-girlfriend I ever had, but except one, and then I married her. And she would like to wish you. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy 50th, Larry. Happy 50th, Larry. I wish we could see you in person or even at visiting day. We won't even see you there. <laughs> so remotely, happy birthday from all of us, from your history and from today. And Matthew Novick would like to wish you a happy birthday too. Ethan Novick somewhere is wishing you a happy birthday <laughs> as a staff. Love you. Happy birthday, Uncle Larry. I hope you have an amazing day. I know it'll be a little bit different being in quarantine, but I'm so, so happy that Amory put this together for everyone to be able to say, um, happy birthday to you. And I just want to say I miss you and I love you. And I'm so, so happy that you're in my life. Um, I always enjoy our little conversations together and um, it doesn't hurt that you tell me I give the best hugs. And I just know that you're an amazing dad in person, especially just noticing how much time and dedication you give to Ben's games and to Lexi and her dance and everything. And I just wanna say, um, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Lawrence, Lawrence, happy 50th birthday. Uh, wow, 50, getting there, nice. Uh, yeah, we were almost celebrating all together at a nice vacation spot. It would have been a really nice room, your beautiful room. Reminds me of one of my birthdays some years back where Lisa and I were going to the Caribbean on an airplane, seven in the morning, couldn't see, and Got totally surprised by Larry and Maria joining us for the trip, which was pretty amazing, although it took me about, I don't know, six or seven minutes to realize you were sitting right next to me. Um, that was pretty awesome. Um, but so anyway, have a great day. We're definitely going to um, get together again. And uh, from best man to best man, Dave's watching this, right? Uh, have a happy birthday, and uh, I will see you soon. Love you. Bye. Happy, happy birthday, Larry. Larry. We love you. Happy 50th. Wish we were together, but we hope you have a great day. We'll see you soon. Well, well, it's Larry's 50th birthday. Could not be more excited. I was gonna do a story or a little speech, um, but we all know all the stories and we've heard all the speeches, plus speeches are for best men, not for ketubah signers. So what I did was I came up with 50 things that uh, 
only Larry would know have any meaning um, for his birthday. So anyway, Larry, this is for you. All right, I'm gonna read them all and then we're gonna put this on to an art project that Sophia and I are gonna do, but we just didn't have time because we so busy during this fun pandemic. Number one, I'm from Cuba. Batman, Superman, and the Lone Ranger. Bev's Stella Doros. If he don't want no fucking cookie, he don't have to have no fucking cookie. Hot air balloon. Nine tenths of a mile. First baseman's blood. On the mound. Chicken delight. Pantry diner. Roller hockey showdown with Evco. Stratomatic. Baseball and football. Cheating at Monopoly. Boxing matches. Broken glass in the wall. Ranger's table. Mickey, Willie, Thurman, Reggie, Chris, Greg, Lou, Roy, Bucky. The Jets at Shea. Let's play stickball. Henning, Tonelli, Nystrom. Oops. Mr. Howing. Liquid Duty. Mr. Spinelli. Beat Moody. Hey, Dom. Bad mixtapes. The Mayor. Hoff says it's okay. The Cilantro. The Wizards of Oz. Hands Up or Sundance? Shade Boys. Quack, quack, quack. Sharky's back. Cabana number one. Mykonos poster. Green couch. No top sheets. Hi, I'm from Seattle. I'm getting my gun. Actually, he eats more like a duck. And this racing stripe here, I feel, is pretty sharp. Agreed. First prize. You were in outer space. This is my daughter, Lisa. Annie M, Uncle Mo. And she stepped on the ball. Sicilian Slice? The best man? No. Katuba. Love you, buddy. Happy birthday. Talk to you soon. Larry Dennis turning 50. It's crazy. I could literally remember meeting you online for dinner on Saquad. It's been forever many years ago and so much fun and life in between. Um, happy I could celebrate with you in any way that I can. Um, glad you're turning 50 before me. Um, I love you and uh, hope you have a very special day. Happy birthday, Dan. Wishing you a very happy birthday and a wonderful year ahead. I hope you're enjoying your time with your sweet family. Sending lots of love. Happy birthday, Larry. So sorry we can't be there with you. Make sure you got some Lysol and some 409 for this birthday. Happy birthday, Larry. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> love happy you. Days. Love you, buddy. Hi, Hoff. Happy birthday. Um, we just wanted to drop in. I know Allison wants to heavily produce this, but it's gonna be more <laughs> from the hip. I don't. And send you our best. It's a big year for all of us, and you know, we're dropping like flies, and you're next. Um, That's what it's called when you drop it. Drop yeah, <laughs> dropping it. Well, we're improving, is the way I like to see it. It's told to think of a story, and the best one I could think of, I mean, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about the time where I think it was you who stole the Gold Rush gum from Times Square stores. And I don't know how old we were. I'm gonna guess we were 12. I think that's fair. Um, we stole something else from the bins. I don't remember, maybe you'll remember what it was. We've had a lot of good times and a lot of laughs. We still have a great time together. Um, you're a pal, dude, family. And of course, without you, there's no family of my own. So I, I even though you discouraged the whole thing, <laughs> totally. I, I really appreciate the non-introduction. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank God that Craig actually didn't listen to you. Um, I, I didn't think of one story. I, like in my head I was going through everything. Um, so we met on the dinner line in college. That's why he was called. 
And um, then he would hide out in my room, and his room, and his budget. <laughs> um, and then we fraternized very often in college, going to all the same mixers. And then after college, he had the fateful party where he only invited the boys from high school and the girls from college. And I met you. Um, so Larry, without you, there would be no me and Craig, so that's our biggest thank you. Although you did try to discourage it. Um, and, um, oh, I have a story, but we tell the story all the time. This is when, you know the story. What's our time limit? Sorry, this is, okay, quick story. When, How are we gonna email this? We're gonna send it to Maria. Hi, Tavi. Um, so, uh, this is the story that we tell all the time. When, I don't even know if we were dating yet, but I was sleeping over Larry's house in the city and we were sharing a bed and he piled up pillows in between the two of us so that we would not be, um, we would not be, uh, oh, what am I, the word I'm looking for? Touching. No, <laughs> but we wouldn't be like, you know, inspired to jump all over each other. We, we needed a blockade of pillows and Larry was the one who created the blockade of pillows. He was keeping me from jumping his balls. Um, that's a Larry story. But I love that our families, I, once Maria came into the picture, you, you, you upgraded, even your amazing Larry status upgraded even more for us. And I love that when we get together now, even when our kids don't see each other for months at a time, they like fall right back in. And, um, and, and um, we love you and your family. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hi, it's your favorite. Um, happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day. Um, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to celebrate with you, but um, I love you so much. You're such an amazing uncle, and I can't wait to see you. Well, Larry's turning 50. As you can imagine, I know Larry his entire life. Not childhood, not adult, his entire life. So, the stories um, would be endless. So I'm gonna pick a few. Uh, one was a great memory uh, when he was little. Uh, one as a young adult living in the city uh, when we both did. And then one recently um, vacation together. So one of the funniest early memories that I have with Larry was at Twin Oaks, of course, where we spent most of our youth. So I could remember the scene, we're walking from the main house toward the mess hall, and we're on that walkway, and Larry is looking up at me, which you could imagine how young he must have been for him to still be looking up at me. My guess is he's probably around eight or nine years old. And we're walking, we both have a drink in our hand, and as I'm taking a sip of one of my drinks, Larry looks up at me while we're walking, and he goes, Howie, what's a pussy? Of course, I spit my drink all over the floor <laughs> and proceeded to, after calming down, describe to my eight-year-old little brother, who only has older sisters, uh, what exactly that description was. And I remember it like yesterday, and it was one of my uh, earliest funny memories with innocent Larry Hoffman as a child at Twin Oaks. The next one I would say probably was when we were both living in the city together. Um, I was divorced. I was going out a lot. And we, did very, we didn't do it often, but there was a night that I remember with Larry that we decided we were going to go out. We were going to go to a bar and hang out. So this was during that, that time period between being married and my divorce, and, and it was uh, an interesting, fun amount of time. So Larry was wingman. And as far as wingmen go, 
I would have to give Larry about the number one props that I could as a wingman for sure. So there was a girl that I think it might have been Larry's friend or she knew him or somehow and we had met at the bar and that was my interest for the evening. Um, so while I was there, she had a friend that was with her at the bar. And I guess the most attractive quality I could say for her friend was that she drinks. So you could imagine um, how interesting that was going to be. But with credit to Larry, right there, never complained, gave it his all, and by the time the night was ending and, and enough drinks were had, I was leaving, we were all leaving together, I was going back to my apartment um, with the girl, and that was the last I knew that happened. So of course the next day, uh, I have a conversation with Larry, and hey, how are you, what's going on? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that was... Um, Happy you got you got to leave that or uh, leave uh, or, or end that for the evening, but no, Larry went right through to the end, went back to the apartment, and in true wingman fashion, did what he had to do. So that is certainly a uh, a uh, uh, testament to the intestinal fortitude that uh, Larry Hoffman has in taking his role quite seriously as as. Uh, a wingman for the evening uh, heading out with Elmo. And I guess the last one um, was not as funny, but emotional. And it was when we were on vacation together and Larry had, we were on a cruise, which the Hoffman family will never ever go on again, ever. And Larry passed out on the elevator. Something was wrong and he was sick and we were at a Caribbean island. And Maria had to be obviously with the kids. And you know, we had to go to a hospital. We had to check him out. He had literally passed out on the elevator at dock. And I sat with Larry all day. Um, lying there in the bed, and we're in a foreign country, and we're on an island, and you truly know how much you, know, you love somebody, and how much of a, a brother he is, uh, when you're sitting together in that situation, and you're holding his hand, and you're by his side, and you're just trying to be strong and more. Super uh, happy that we uh, we get to watch you do as you do. many 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 more years of happiness. So happy birthday! Hey Larry, happy fiftieth, buddy. Billy Joel here. Can you tell? Anyway, hope it's a wonderful, wonderful day. Hope you have a ton of conveyor belt pizza with lots of fake toppings on it. And you're awesome, and happy birthday, buddy. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Larry. Sorry we can't be there to help you celebrate. Social distancing and all that. Oh, <laughs> these things are annoying. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we're all locked down here out in Montauk, and we're really sorry we couldn't uh, be there to celebrate your birthday. Um, it's really unfortunate, but times like this is when we, we sort of hunker down with family and uh, you're, you're incredibly lucky to be hunkered down with your family. They say a measure of a man's success is not by his business or his personal accomplishments, but it's by, by the people that love him and his family and friends that, that, that you know, admire him. And, and by that account... You are a very lucky man. <laughs> a very successful man, too. I'm very successful. Um, 
We hope you have a wonderful birthday, and we are really looking forward to um, celebrating with you when, when, when time allows it. We hope, uh, let's try to do a big barbecue or something, something awesome, um, and hopefully we'll be together sooner rather than later. <laughs> See you soon, stay safe. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. Hey, Hoffman. Well, 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 50 years. I haven't known you for 50 years. I actually knew you before you knew me, probably. I remember you used to leave Hebrew school early on Sundays to go to the Jet games. And I always wondered, who is that guy that keeps leaving early and I have to sit here? And I almost became a Jets fan because of it, because I thought I could leave Hebrew school early. But then they sucked so much that it was just not worth it. I actually enjoyed Hebrew school more than watching the Jets, and still do, actually. Um, but then we became friends, obviously, later in life with uh, high school, and then certainly even you know post-college, we uh, became good friends and fantasy sports and other adventures over the years. And uh, I hope we get to do some more down the road. Uh, hopefully in the Bahamas at some point next year and uh, wherever else life takes us. So hopefully another 50 years for you and um, happy birthday from all of us Bernsteins. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, Larry. Happy birthday. Hope you're having a great day. Um, one of my most favorite memories um, from college with you was when you would go get the hot turkey from the hot turkey line but give me the potato chips, the cottage fries. Loved them, love you, happy birthday. Oh, look who's here. It's cousin Larry. Hey Larry. Hi Larry, happy birthday. We're thinking about our memories with you. I don't know if I could tell you on video. We remember <laughs> your bris. <laughs> that little peeny of yours when it got snipped. Um, we're not gonna talk about that. I okay. do remember you though when, I think you were nine came out of the house, cousin Beverly, cousin Bernard, you wearing these tank tops with sports memorabilia on it. You used to wear tank tops <laughs> and your shorts used to wear really high. Does that uh, make me really old? Yeah. I, I actually have another memory too, Rob. You remember when we went out with Larry and Maria? They were almost as old as they are now. We went out to dinner in the city, we dropped them off and then we went out dancing. Yeah. yeah. But what about that other time? At their wedding. At their wedding. Yeah. I'm gonna sit back and have a glass of wine for this one. I remember Larry at the wedding, just in the beginning. I remember all his friends. I had a lot of fun. And we've always had a lot of fun with you, Larry. And we're looking for many, many, many more years of more fun times together. We love that you're part of Happy birthday, Larry. 50. Can you believe it? Wow. Larry, it says roast or toast. I choose to toast my friend Larry Hoffman. Lots of warm memories growing up. Lots of parties. Lots of hanging. The three-legged one to Dustin. The Pookie Poodle, April. Little League, Stoop Ball. All those things, Larry. It's been a lot of years, me and you, my friend. And I definitely toast my friend Larry Hoffman. Happy 50th. Wish I could celebrate with you. Hopefully soon. Be well. Love you, man. Hey, Larry. Happy birthday. Hey, Larry. I just wanted the opportunity to tell you that um, I've always loved hanging out with you so much. And I'm wishing you the happiest birthday. We've had many, many, many good years of friendship and laughter. And hanging out with you is always such a good time. Uh, from hanging out back in the days of Brother Jimmy's to uh, to uh, lots of sports talk to the bench warmer trying to set you at right the bench warmer and you know Larry it hasn't always been great with me and you hanging out but you know I understand <laughs> <laughs> to try to find you a mate which you did the best job in the world because we both love Maria so much and couldn't imagine a better partner in life for you 
and uh, happy you're joining the club of 50. And Not my club. Yeah, great. So welcome to the club. We love you so much. You're awesome and so much fun. Larry, we wish we could be with you, man. Yeah. 50, I can't believe we're not together at 50. Oh well, damn pandemic. <laughs> anyway, Larry, we raise our glasses to you. Happy birthday, Happy Larry. Happy 50th, we love you, man. Bye. Happy birthday, you, Larry. Happy birthday, Larry. Happy birthday, 50 years old, Larry. Happy birthday to you. Hey, Larry. Just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday, 50th birthday. All the best to you and uh, your family. And uh, you have health and happiness for the rest, for the uh, next 50 years. The next month, I'm going to come to eat the cake. We're not going to forget that. We're not going to say, bye, Larry, thank you. You have to save cake for us. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Dad. We all wanted to say happy birthday, including Dustin. Happy birthday, happy birthday Daddy. <laughs> I love you. And we have some special surprises for you. Ready? Mm-hmm. What's up, Larry? It's your family, and we're here to wish you a happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Today I have written a song. It's called You Are So Old. Congratulations. <laughs> You are old. Oh, so very so old. old. Oh, oh, so very old. Oh, wow. And you have AARP. But you can still go poo poo on the party. All right. Have poo poo <laughs> parties. Come here. Anyway, Come here. we love you. We love everything about you. Hopefully, you don't walk in again. Come on. <laughs> you ruined the surprise. And we hope your day is so, 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 so special. Just special. Like you. Come closer. Special. We love you. Hey, Larry. Just want to wish you a happy 50th birthday. Not exactly the way it should have been, but not so bad, right? Well, happy 50th birthday. Save us some cake. Hi, Larry. Happy 50th birthday. You're an old man. Um, so now you're not only tall, but you're also old. And now you're bald, too, because I saw your head that Lexi shaved. Um, not that you were bald before this whole quarantine, but I hope you have a great birthday, and I wish that we could celebrate together. I'm sure eventually we'll be able to, maybe over the summer, because I'll actually be home. Um, and hopefully Lexi and Ben will be at camp. Um, and your wife is awesome for doing this for you. And... You know, you definitely married up. You know how I feel about Maria. She's awesome. But happy birthday. Have a great, great birthday. Sorry you can't go out. And it's not the year of Larry, but I'm sure I'll have one eventually. Okay, it's great. I'm going through the chat with you guys today. And I can't wait to see you and have a great day. Bye. Yeah, so Mark Sanders here. Don't mind the COVID hairdo. So my favorite moment or memory of Larry in college Mind you, I roomed with him, made his bed. It's a good memory. But um, one memory that I have of Larry is I think he was um, interning at the local ABC station. And he starred in a reenactment of uh, the defacing of a school. And he snuck up with his hat on. And he 
spread like eat my shorts on a school and that was uh, Larry reenacting a juvenile delinquent so I think that's um, that really sticks in my mind anyway uh, wishing a happy and a healthy 50th 50 50 years on this earth um, a happy and a healthy birthday love you good to see you the other night and um, peace just watching our movie this week and I was thinking about all the times we continually quote every line verbatim from the movie to where Patrice said <laughs> shut the frig up already and stop quoting the lines. Hope your birthday is everything you imagine it to be. Happy birthday in your imagination. We love you. Augusta says a woof later. Happy birthday!